Backup plans for computer crashes used to be like planning for the Normandy landings, but not anymore. There is now an easier way. Katie Barrett, Special K herself, joins us now from Washington, D.C., where she has the answers to this. The easy answer to the computer crash. Don't have one. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. Yeah, so backing up your computer is something that people don't think about until it happens to them, you know, and then they think, oh, I would have paid any amount of money to have this backed up, but um, until they actually have this experience, they really don't think it will happen to them. So uh, Crash Plan is extremely simple and it's designed to work in the background the whole time. So once you set it up the first time you do the initial backup, whether you choose to use their remote servers or you can use other computers that you own, other hard drives that you own, or computers of friends or family. Uh, once you do that first backup, which does take a while, then it works in the background and you don't even know it's happening. When you say a while, how long of a while? <laughs> is this like the doctor so, telling you it'll like, hurt a bit? Yeah, this is a good question. Uh, it, it gives you some estimates when you first start the backup. Right. And using it at my house with my Verizon DSL, the first estimate I got was 17 point, I think it was 17.3 days. Days. And, uh, I thought I had misread it. And then it quickly changed down to two days and jer jerked back up again to six days. You know, it was kind of all over the board. They gave me a tip, uh, the guys at Crash Plan, the Code 42 software is the company that makes this. But they gave me a tip and said to look at the percentage finished instead of the overall um, estimate that is shown in this dialog box from the software. So if you look at the percentage finished and kind of estimate how long it took you to get there and then see how much is left, you can kind of multiply that by two and have a much better, more realistic idea of how long it will take. So, Only if yeah. you're good at maths. Are you that good at maths? I mean, I'm sure you, I'm sure you are. I don't know if I am. I but, mean, yeah. I mean, let's just get the calculator out, do a quick trigonometry. Yeah, exactly. And you were saying that now it's simpler than uh, planning for the Normandy invasion, but apparently it's going to take a lot longer than the Normandy invasion <laughs> itself, I think. Yeah. Well, OK, so if right. you really don't want to use your home <laughs> network, right, you're right. just not interested in sitting there for 17 days or, you know, two days even, they'll send you a one terabyte hard drive. And you can just plug this into your computer. Mm -hmm. It sucks all your data onto it. In my case, it took about four hours. Mm -hmm. And then it, you send this back to them in the mail. They put it up into the cloud on their remote servers, and then you can access it. So if you do lose your computer or the hard drive goes, uh, you can basically call them. For another $125, they will send you a hard drive filled with all of your data. So I think that's a good solution for people who don't want to sit there and wait for this backup. It's a good uh, solution for a person with a roll of $100 bills, <laughs> I, I, I think. Is, is, um, is, is there anything a bit easier? And, and to, be, to be truthful, and one of the questions I've got is when a computer crashes, how much of that stuff that's on the computer do you really need? Could you do without? Isn't it yeah. like using your you know, address book? You know, it's funny. Um, I, I think people's photos really matter to them. You know, I got an email from a reader this morning who says he has uh, all these different hard drives in his home. He spends every Sunday backing everything up but he has one firebox in his house for a hard drive that contains just all of his photos so that is apparently the most valuable thing to him and I think right. that's the case for a lot of people I know do we need another photo backup application I guess that's an another question right I mean Apple has one and presumably there are others out there as well what yeah, what recommends this one you know uh, is it I mean these are this is like if you take I, I use a camera that takes really high-res images mm -hmm. and if you have all those stored, you are not necessarily backing those up at all times. And I mean, this isn't just right. a photo backup solution. This is everything that's on your computer. So, I mean, I, I think I look at it a little differently than, than I would a regular photo backup system. It's just much more complete than those. Much more complete. What a great <laughs> way to end that. Thank you very much. Special K herself, Katie Barrett. And you can read more about that in today's WSJ Wall Street Journal, that is, or on WSJ.com.